Hello, creative mind. Welcome home. I'm Survival, and today we shall be talking about the arrangement of keys on the guitar. In the last class, I taught you what a key is, what a scale is, and how to get the scale of any key. And I equally gave you assignment telling you to get the scale of the nine remaining keys which we did not treat in the last class. So, this class will be more of the practical application of what I taught you in the last class. If you didn't get the last class very well, I will advise you to go back, watch it again and again. I believe I simplified everything though. Watch it again and again so that you understand it before you come to this class. Like I said, this class is more of a practical application of what I taught you in the last class. If you don't understand the last class very well, you may likely not understand this class well. So without wasting much time, let's get to the topic of today. Today, like I told you, we will we'll be discussing about the arrangement of keys on the guitar. Actually, this is how the keys are arranged on the guitar. Take a look at the diagram on the screen. You see that we are having E on the open string of the 6th fret. And we are followed by F, F sharp, G, so on and so on. And then back here on the 5th fret open, we are having A. And that is how everything seems to be scattered here. Like there is no connection. Actually, when I was a beginner, that was how I thought it was arranged. No connection, everything scattered. I even thought you have to play it this way. This one being my do, this one re, me, and everything on one string. So now, that is actually not how the keys are arranged on the guitar. If you follow it that way, it might be very difficult and complicated for anybody. This is how the keys are arranged. Just lift any five frets of your choice on the guitar. Lift any five frets of your choice. When you lift any five fret of your choice, you will notice that the keys are arranged accordingly. Lift any five fret of your choice, you notice that the keys, they are arranged accordingly. So I will be taking, using, taking this as an example. I will be using this. This is a one, two, three, four, five. I will be using this, uh, this. So I will be using this five frets. This is one, two, three, four, five. That is the first five fret. You will notice that in the first one here, we are having the F, followed by F sharp G. On the fifth fret here, we are having the A. Then the second string, on the first fret of the second string, we are having A sharp. This one stops with A, this one continued with A sharp. Then the fifth string on the fifth fret stopped with D. The fourth string the first fret started with d sharp so it moves accordingly in all the strings except when you come to the third string and then the second string the third string what it ended there was c and in the second string it started with c again so that is the only place we are having a difference if you remember when i taught you how to tune up the guitar all other strings are tuned using the fifth fret of the upper string, except the second string that you have to use the fourth fret of the upper string. The upper string is uh, the, the third string, where you have to use the fourth fret of the third string. So just know it that in every other place it flows when you use this, uh, when you lift any fifth fret, except in the fourth in the third string where you have c here and then second string you still have the same c there so just know it that is how it is i may not know how to make you understand or uh, i mean try to make you understand why it is that way 
just for now just know it that this is how it is this is how the third string is and this is how the second string is so every other string flows now i already taught you how to get the scale of any key on the guitar so and i believe you must have done the nine assignments that i gave you the, the the assignment that i gave you which is to get the nine remaining keys so let's get the scale of the key of the key of f so this is our f because open is e this one becomes f f sharp and so on so this become our f this is do of our f if we are to get the scale now we are using still using this we are still using this five fret that we lifted. If you are to get the scale now, this becomes the do. You get this one becomes the re. The third fret becomes the re, and then the fifth fret becomes the mi. On the fifth string, the first fret becomes the fa. The third fret becomes the so. The fifth fret becomes the la. On the on the fourth string, the second fret becomes the T. The third fret becomes the Do. And then the fifth fret becomes the Re. Then on the third string, the second fret becomes the Mi. The third fret becomes the Fa. And then the fifth fret becomes the So. Then on the second string, the first fret is still the so. Then the third fret becomes the la. And then the fifth fret becomes the t. And then on the fifth, on the first string, the, the, the first fret becomes the do, the higher do. The third fret becomes the re. And then the fifth fret becomes the mi. So you see, it seems as if we play the guitar on five, five frets. So now, actually, all these notes can be contained in four frets if you place your finger well. You can play everything, I mean everything on the four frets if you place your finger well. So now, this is how you place your finger or this is how you use your left hand in playing the notes on the guitar actually in playing the notes on the guitar you make use of just four fingers you use four fingers in playing the notes on the guitar and this is how it is so in playing the guitar you make use of four fingers and this is it these are the four fingers and this is how you place them on the guitar each of the finger takes care of one fret. Each of the fingers take charge, like they take charge of one fret. This one now take charge of this fret and place everything playable in this fret. This one is not to jump to another fret. This one takes charge of the next, the immediate fret that follows the other one and takes charge of this fret. This one takes charge of this fret and plays everything there. This one takes charge of this fret and plays everything there. So with that, you have four frets that you are playing. So that is how you put your fingers and play the notes on the guitar. So now, another important thing you need to know is this. This one takes the T. It takes the T. And then this one takes the Do. You get, if this one it takes the T here, you know after T comes the Do, which is this. And then this one have nothing to play. This one takes the Re. And that is it. Once you are able to do it this way, that this one is taking the T and this one is taking the Do, then you will be able to play everything in four frets. You know the last example I gave you, which is the key of F, we played everything in five frets and couldn't play it in four frets. That is simply because one, our finger placement was not the standard way of placing fingers. And number two, we omitted the notes in the open string. 
So now let's get back, let's go back to the key of F and then use the note in the open string. You will notice that we'll be able to play everything in just three frets. If you include the open strings, it makes it four. So this is it, first fret, this is it, second fret, this is it, third fret. If you include the open string, it will be fourth. So this is how it will be. The open string will be T, T, the, the, then this one, Re, Mi. Sorry, this is how it will be. T, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, T, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, do, re. So I will take it backwards. Re, do, ti, la, so, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, ti, la, so. So you can see we are able to play everything on these three frets, which includes the, the open strings, making it four frets. So now let's take the key of F sharp as a second example, and you still see we'll be able to play everything in four frets. So this is the key of F sharp. This is how it goes. So this one will be our, this is F, this is F sharp, this one will be our Do, and this one will be our T. This takes the T, which is this, T, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, T, Do, Re, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La, So, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So you see, we're able to play everything, everything on the four frets. You see, one good thing about the guitar is this. Once you know or once you're able to get the finger placement and the finger movement, that is, you, it applies in all keys, in the 12 keys. It's unlike the, the piano where you have to learn everything manually. In the guitar, once you know how to move, the, the, once you know the finger placement for one key, you can play any key with that same finger placement it applies in every key just once you you're able to get the key put your hand there it's still the same thing so there is no two ways of playing it it's just the same principle of finger movement is this one is your do if this one is your t this one becomes your do this one becomes your re this other one becomes me this one fa so put it anywhere it's still the same thing so I will encourage you and advise you to get my book, which is Learn the Guitar with Ease. In case you are, try, you are getting confused with anything in the book, uh, I, it has the scale of all the keys, the scale of all the keys, the notes of all the keys, everything is there. So I will encourage you to get it. It will help you so much in becoming a good guitarist. Okay, so now for your assignment, try to run the scale of all keys. Try to know where each key is on the guitar. Let's say this one now, you already know this is your F. This is your F sharp. This one open is your A. So try to know the keys or the, the keys. 
in the Gita, try to know where they are in the Gita, and also try to know how to run the scale of each key in the Gita. So as you do that, it will actually help you to learn and master your finger placement, how to move your fingers, and where the keys are on the Gita. Thank you so much for watching. See you next class. God bless you. If you are new to my channel and you don't want to miss any of my videos, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. With that, you get notification anytime I upload new videos online. You can let me know how you feel about my videos using the comment section. You can support me to make better video tutorials to help you and to help every other person who wish to learn this instrument. Thank you so much for watching. See you next class. God bless you.